Here's example two with using periodic properties to evaluate a trig function. So uh, evaluate cosine of 765 degrees. Okay, so first of all, uh, cosine has period uh, two pi or the same thing as uh, 360 degrees. Okay, so here the angle is given in degrees, so let's just discuss this in terms of degrees. So the period of cosine is 360 degrees. So what we have to do first is ask ourselves, okay, is this angle larger than 360 degrees or is it smaller than zero degrees? Yeah, well, clearly it's uh, larger than 360 degrees, right? So what we say then is uh, 765 degrees uh, is larger than 360 degrees. So then what we have to do is subtract 360 degrees as often as we need to until we get some angle between zero degrees and uh, 360 degrees um, that hopefully is a special angle somewhere on the unit circle. Okay. So anyway, uh, 765 degrees minus 360 degrees. Okay, so let's maybe it'll be easier to think of it like this, minus 360 degrees. Um, so if we subtract those, then what we're going to get is uh, 405 degrees. Okay. Now notice though, 405 degrees, uh, that's still larger than 360 degrees, right? So we have to uh, subtract 360 again. So 405 degrees minus 360 degrees. Uh, now when we do this, what are we going to get? Uh, we're going to get 45 degrees, right? It's going to be 45 degrees. Okay. So now uh, we had to subtract 360 degrees twice, but we ended up with, a, uh, with an angle here that's uh, 45 degrees. So it's between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Now we ask ourselves, is that a special angle on the unit circle? Uh, yeah, it is, right? So 45 degrees, that's the same as pi over 4 radians. Okay? So uh, definitely know that. If you don't uh, memorize that, just remember how to convert. So 45 degrees, multiply that by pi over 180 to get to radians. So that'll give you pi over 4 radians. Okay? So uh, the cosine, so basically what we have now is the cosine of 765 degrees okay, equals uh, the cosine of 45 degrees. Okay, that's what uh, these periodic properties tell us this. Okay, the periodic properties tell us that because um, 765 degrees minus 360 degrees minus another 360 degrees gives us 45 degrees, then because cosine has period 360 degrees, um, then these guys are going to have the same cosine. Okay, these two angles have the same cosine because they differ by a multiple of 360 degrees. Okay. They differ by a multiple of the period, so their cosine is the same. Okay, because they differ by a multiple of the period of cosine, so their cosine is the same. Okay, so then cosine of 45 degrees, that's the x coordinate where 45 degrees hits the unit circle. Remember, 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians. The x coordinate is root 2 over 2. So uh, that's the answer here to example 2. Okay. So. Um, Let's just see a picture of what this looks like. So 45 degrees, so if we draw a unit circle here. So we know what 45 degrees is, that's just pi over 4 radians, right? So here's our unit circle. That's pretty bad. Uh, let's zoom in closer on that then, so it's kind of small. <clears throat> okay, so 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians, so it's right here, okay? So uh, notice, w we started with uh, 765 degrees and we had to subtract 360 degrees twice to get to 45 degrees. So if we start at 45 degrees, then we have to add 360 twice to get to 765. So if we do that, um, okay, so this here uh, is going to be 45 degrees. Okay, so if we want to get to 765 degrees, we have to go 360 degrees, uh, 720 degrees, and then add 45, so we're at 765 degrees. Okay. So that's uh, 45 degrees. Let's zoom in on this. Kind of, kind of hard to see, I guess. Uh, this is 45 degrees. And then if we go around two full revolutions and then up 45 degrees, that's 765 degrees. Okay, so we do see that these angles, they are indeed coterminal, and they do hit the uh, unit circle at the same point. So they're going to have the same cosine, the same sine, the same tangent, the same cotangent, the same secant, the same cosecant, and so on. Okay, So um, that's just a quick example of what they look like. Or just a quick little crude picture, so just a rough sketch. And this is uh, example two with evaluating a trig function using periodic properties.